Hi everyone and welcome, I'm Gavin Lon. So is C Sharp better than JavaScript? Let's find out. In the right, In the corner, right corner, we have the we up have and coming up heavyweight, heavyweight C Sharp. C -sharp. In the left In the corner, left we have the, we old, have the old yet powerful, powerful contender, contender who just, who just won't, won't quit, quit JavaScript. JavaScript. And it is and clear, is clear that, JavaScript that JavaScript is a very, very popular, popular contender. contender. Ooh, I don't know how much how more much of this bashing bash JavaScript, JavaScript can take. C sharp speed, agility, agility and power, and power is, quite is quite remarkable. remarkable. But the ubiquitous JavaScript will not quit. I've never seen resilience like this. Oh, and it's the final round. Can JavaScript go the distance? And C Sharp wins the final round by knockout. Okay, so it's clear I have a bias towards C Sharp and .NET. Please let me know in the comments section your opinion on which of these two languages is better and why. This should make for a very interesting discussion. Let's start with a brief overview of JavaScript. JavaScript was invented by Brendan Eich in 1995. It was developed for Netscape 2 and became the ECMA 262 standard in 1997. JavaScript is a multi-paradigm dynamic programming language with types, operators, built-in objects and built-in methods. Its syntax is based on C and Java. It supports both object-oriented programming and functional programming. In JavaScript, functions are considered first-class objects and can be created through expressions and can be passed around like any object. Object prototypes and classes can also serve as templates for objects in JavaScript. JavaScript is lightweight and is not a compiled language. The source code is never changed into bytecode before it is executed. JavaScript is consistently rated by reputable sources as the most popular programming language in the world. JavaScript started out as a purely front-end programming language that ran in a web browser, but later made its way to being a popular server-side programming language where it could run in a runtime known as Node.js. Node.js enabled JavaScript to run outside of web browsers. Node.js lets developers use JavaScript to write command line tools and server-side scripting. So JavaScript is a diverse, flexible and powerful programming language that can be used for front-end and back-end programming. So let's look at an overview of C Sharp. C Sharp was developed by Anders Heilsberg and his team at Microsoft. It was first released in 2001. I've heard Anders Halsberg say in an interview that the goal when developing C Sharp was to provide the power and expressiveness of C++ while also providing the rapid application capabilities inherent in Visual Basic. It is a high-level programming language that runs in an environment known as .NET. C Sharp is also consistently rated by reputable sources as one of the top five most popular programming languages. With the first release of .NET, c -sharp applications initially only ran on Windows platforms. In 2016, .NET Core allowed for c -sharp applications to be cross-platform, where one code base could be used to run on multiple platforms, for example, Windows, Mac OS, as well as Linux platforms. The Xamarin framework meant you could create cross-platform mobile applications where one code base could be used to run C Sharp applications on both Android and iOS devices. Please note that the Xamarin framework has now evolved into the .NET MAUI framework. The release of .NET Core was a huge step in the evolution of .NET. However, it also meant that there were now two strands of .NET. The first release of .NET, known as the .NET framework, which could only run on Windows devices, and .NET Core, which enabled .NET to be cross-platform. In 2020, .NET 5 was released, which unified these two main strands of .NET. So from this point on, .NET is a unified cross-platform software technology that can now compete with the likes of Java as a cross-platform solution. 
So, how does C Sharp and .NET basically work? C Sharp is typically JIT compiled, just in time compiled. Note that you can also AOT, ahead of time compile, your C Sharp code, where you can distribute your C Sharp applications as one executable, but typically C Sharp code is just in time compiled. So, how does just in time compilation work? So the higher level .NET language, for example C Sharp, Visual Basic .NET or F Sharp, is first compiled into common intermediate language code. This common intermediate language code lives inside .NET assemblies. These are the fundamental building blocks of .NET applications. The assemblies are saved to the target computer's relevant storage facility. When, for example, a C Sharp method is called at runtime from within a particular assembly, the JIT compiler service that is provided by the Common Language Runtime, or Core CLR, in .NET, first checks to see if the code for the relevant method is compiled into machine language code. Remember, the IL code cannot be understood directly by the CPU. If the method has not yet been compiled into machine language code, the JIT service compiles the relevant CIL code into machine language code. The relevant machine language code can now be understood by the CPU of the target computer, which could, for example, be a machine running Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. So a single code base written in C Sharp can be used to run on multiple devices and platforms. Write once, run anywhere. Let's look at the similarities between C Sharp and JavaScript. The syntax for both C Sharp and JavaScript are C-based. In both C Sharp and JavaScript, you can write full-stack web applications using one technology. So both JavaScript and C-sharp can be used to create both front-end and back-end functionality. In JavaScript, for example, you could write the back-end code that runs in the Node.js runtime environment and use vanilla JavaScript or a sophisticated JavaScript technology like React or Angular for the front-end user interactivity functionality that runs inside the web browser. With .NET and C-sharp, you could use the Blazor framework for both the front-end and back-end functionality, as well as seamlessly integrating your application with other .NET frameworks on the back-end. For example, you could leverage a .NET Web API on the back-end. In the case, for example, for highly scalable enterprise applications, you could use the microservice architecture and run .NET and C-sharp within Docker containers on the server side. Note that you can also run JavaScript code on Node.js within Docker containers for highly scalable backend functionality. C Sharp and JavaScript are both flexible multi paradigm programming languages, where C Sharp and JavaScript can be used for both functional programming and object oriented programming. Both C Sharp and JavaScript support flexibility. For example, anonymous functions can be leveraged in both C Sharp and JavaScript. In C Sharp, the developer can use delegates that wrap methods, as it were and instantiate the relevant methods as objects in code. JavaScript's methods can also be instantiated into objects. So, in both languages, methods can be passed around in code as objects. JavaScript is a dynamically typed language, but even though c -sharp is a statically typed language, c -sharp developers can also use the dynamic type to circumvent .NET's common type system. In JavaScript, arrow functions can be used as a more concise alternative for the representation of methods. In c -sharp, Lambda expressions can be used to represent methods in a more concise way when compared to the more traditional representation of named methods. Both languages include the concepts of value types and reference types. For example, in JavaScript, primitives like number, string, big int, and boolean are value types. Whereas in JavaScript, arrays, functions, and objects are reference types. The size of value types are fixed and therefore stored on the stack. This means value types can be more efficiently managed in memory than reference types. Reference types are stored in a more haphazard way on the heap. Their size is not fixed and memory management for reference types is not as efficient when compared to the memory management of value types. In C Sharp, data types like, for example, int, float, boolean, structs, and char are value types. In C Sharp, for example, strings, classes, delegates, and arrays are reference types. Both C Sharp and JavaScript can be used for multiple purposes. Both can be used for user interactive front end functionality.
Both can be used for server-side or back-end functionality. Both languages can be used to create cross-platform mobile applications. In JavaScript, technologies like React Native or Ionic can be used to create cross-platform mobile applications. In c .NET MAUI can be used to create cross-platform mobile applications. Both languages can be used to create cross-platform desktop applications that can run on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. In c and .NET, .NET MAUI can be used to create cross-platform desktop applications. In JavaScript, Electron can be used to create cross-platform desktop applications. Both languages can be used to develop cloud-native applications where the code can run inside Docker containers. So highly scalable applications that leverage the microservice architecture can be created using both c and JavaScript. Both .NET and Node.js can run within Docker containers. So both c and JavaScript are both flexible and can be used for multiple purposes and can run on a diverse array of platforms and devices. Let's look at the differences between c and JavaScript. c is a compiled language and JavaScript is an interpreted language. c is much faster than JavaScript because c code is compiled, whereas JavaScript code is interpreted at runtime. JavaScript is a dynamically typed language and c is a statically typed language. The strong typing of c code makes it more robust than JavaScript code at runtime because the type-related issues can be flagged and corrected at compile time. With statically typed languages, sophisticated concepts like generics and reflection can be included in the language. Technologies like these make c more sophisticated than JavaScript. There are millions more JavaScript developers in the world than c developers. JavaScript is a single-threaded language, whereas c is a multi-threaded language. JavaScript is far less complex than c -sharp. The greatest use for JavaScript is on the front end for web applications, whereas c -sharp is arguably a much better language to use for multiple purposes and on multiple devices and platforms. c -sharp can run inside browsers, but only with the help of the WebAssembly technology, whereas JavaScript can run inside browsers without the need for a technology like WebAssembly to be running inside the relevant browsers. Older browsers will support JavaScript code, whereas older browsers that don't support WebAssembly will not support c -sharp and .NET. JavaScript is dynamically typed and therefore perhaps easier to learn than c -sharp. A statically typed language can ensure better performance and code robustness at runtime, so c -sharp is a more performant and robust language than JavaScript, but JavaScript may be an easier language to learn. c -sharp code is easier to debug than JavaScript code. The tools available to troubleshoot .NET and c -sharp code are far more sophisticated than the tools available for debugging and troubleshooting JavaScript code. c -sharp has the support of Microsoft, the largest software company in the world. Who wins, c -sharp or JavaScript? Let's look at some advantages of using JavaScript. JavaScript as a dynamically typed programming language is less complex than c -sharp and therefore easier to learn than c -sharp. JavaScript will run in a broader range of browsers than c -sharp, as it does not depend on WebAssembly like c -sharp does to run inside browsers. Older browsers don't support the WebAssembly technology. JavaScript is way more popular and has a larger pool of expert developers when compared to c -sharp. JavaScript has a much larger ecosystem than .NET and c -sharp. Right, let's look at some of the advantages of using c -sharp. c -sharp exhibits greater consistency in its language syntax compared to JavaScript in its raw form. c -sharp is statically typed, which means code is more performant and robust at runtime than dynamically typed JavaScript code. c -sharp has the support and heavy investment from Microsoft, the largest software company in the world. So which technology do you choose? Well, if you are a web developer and your primary skill set is c -sharp and .NET, you will still need to know JavaScript, as JavaScript is ubiquitous on the web. This dependency on JavaScript is unlikely to change in the foreseeable future. In general, as a company, you'll have a much larger skill set pool of JavaScript developers available when compared to the expertise available regarding c -sharp and .NET, so this may be a reason to invest in JavaScript. Remember, you are able to develop both the front-end code and back-end code using JavaScript. 
so you can develop full stack applications using just JavaScript technologies. Debugging and troubleshooting is far easier and more efficient in .NET and C-sharp applications, so this may be a reason to choose C-sharp and .NET for complex enterprise applications. If you are primarily using Microsoft technologies in your organization, .NET and C-sharp is going to be much easier to integrate into your ecosystem than JavaScript technologies. Microsoft provides paid support, so for comprehensive and dependable support, C-sharp and .NET may be a great investment for your company. Salary might be your criteria, so it is a good idea to research what companies in and around the area in which you live pay C-sharp and JavaScript developers. You may just prefer the look and feel of one technology over the other. If speed and performance is your main criteria, then c -sharp and .NET is definitely the way to go. These are two fantastic, powerful, and flexible technologies. As always, when comparing two technologies of this high caliber, the decision to choose one technology over the other You're is not all that straightforward. I'll leave you with this piece of advice. Even if you specialize in c -sharp as your main programming language, it is still advisable to know at least the basics of JavaScript, especially if you are a web developer. JavaScript code is ubiquitous on the web. So there may be times, for example, where a Blazor application needs to be interoperable with a piece of JavaScript code, or you may even need to debug an existing piece of JavaScript code that needs to be integrated into your, for example, Blazor application, or for example, your .NET MVC application. c -sharp and JavaScript generally play nicely together, and they are both excellent programming languages. Please let me know in the comment section your opinion on which of these languages is better and why. This should make for a very interesting discussion. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. Please also ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this through my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. I've recently joined X, formerly Twitter, so it would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Lon Digital. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care.